Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today in this video, I am going to show you how we can convert Google Sheet data into a JSON URL API and also how to add query parameter into your JSON URL or API so that you can extract a specific data from a huge data set. Now suppose you have hundreds of columns and thousands of rows, so you really have a big data. So every time whenever you want to uh, import that particular API from your Python or JavaScript, you need to import all the data. So it will be a huge in size if you are calling this URL or API frequently within uh, 5 seconds or uh, in 10 seconds, then you have to access a huge data. Okay. Now suppose you, if you have some query parameter, suppose you want some specific row or specific column or specific data according to your condition. So that data will be less than the original data set and it will be easily accessible and the weight of the data will be lighter than the original one. So it will be easy to handle from your backend. That's the intention of this video so that you can collect those amount of data whichever is needed for your purpose. So you don't have to import all the data into your terminal. So in this video I am going to show you how we can make that kind of URL or API with some query so that you can extract th the particular data from your huge data set. So in the last video of Google Sheet. I already have shown how you can make this kind of data to a JSON API. So if you have not watched it, then you please go to my channel and uh, here you will find a Google Sheet playlist. Just open it and you will find how, uh, how to convert Google Sheet data into JSON URL using app script. So, so if you have not watched it just go once then you have a clear idea how to convert your google sheet data into a json e url so in this video i am not going to show you how to convert this data into a json api just i will import the code from my previous file and i will paste it here now at the very beginning i will describe about my data then we will try to set a query parameter into the json api so that we can extract a slice of the uh, original data set so that it will be less number of data and it will be faster to use uh, rather than the total api total data from the original api so it will it will make our program much faster so that's the idea of this video so let me describe about my data this is a basically screener it will screen those stocks uh, who are whose cpr band is narrow that is the length of tc and bc if it is narrow with some percentage then only it will pop up now at the very first column i am taking some stock name and then it is a narrow so narrow based on today's cpr if it is narrow then it will take one otherwise it will take zero now it's a narrow for tomorrow on the basis of the data if it is narrow for tomorrow then it will take one otherwise it will take zero and here is the signal signal is for today so if it is giving you a buy signal or sell signal then we will consider this kind of stocks so we need only those stocks who gives us some signal either buy or sell so we can extract only those number of stocks who are either buy or sell so we are slicing a data set from a, our huge uh, collection of stocks so that's the idea that's i am going to do here now I will convert this table data into a JSON URL so that we can set query parameter on the JSON URL. So I already did it in my last video. So just go once uh, how to convert Google Sheet data into JSON URL by using app script and then uh, we will try to modify this code a little bit so that we can set a query parameter into that. So let me go to the extension and go to the app script. Now let me rename it as API. Now I am going to copy the code I already did. So let me go to the file and let me copy it and let me paste it otherwise it will take a lot of time to write down all this code. So let me save this file and I will now let me select the function setup and run it once. 
it will ask some permission so i'll allow all the permissions so advance and then we will allow all these permissions now it's okay now let me publish this as a uh, for anyone so let's deploy now it's ready so i have some api let me copy it and let me paste it here so look at here the stock data whatever is available in this sheet so acc10 and cell so you can compare acc10 and cell so we have uh, this data as a json format now here i am getting the api for our google sheets data now suppose we want that particular stocks who are giving you sell signal at right moment then how you can extract that kind of stocks so you have to fetch this url into your system either in python or uh, javascript uh, then we'll sort out which are in sell mode then only we'll get the stock name so so initially we have to import total url data that is that may be huge so let me go to our python terminal let me copy the api link and let me go to our python terminal and let me create a file python file let me take main.py now i'll import request and we need pandas import pandas as pd now let me request request equal to request dot get let me paste the url now here i am getting some json data so we have to convert this data as a json so data is equal to request dot json and we will convert this json as a pandas data frame so that you can uh, display we can print as a table format so df is equal to pd dot data frame and we will pass data and we will print df now let me save this file and python main so it will scrap the data from this api and it will convert as a data frame and we will fetch here we can see 135 stocks are there and uh, some of them are sell or maybe some of them are buy so this is our data set so i have to import all the data set but if i want to import those stocks who are in sell or who are, who are in buy so after importing we have to make some calculation so that we will get who are in buy or who and sell but if i make some query here after this url and it will give you the sorted data that means whatever data you want that particular data you will give so it will uh, reduce our effort so we will get the buy or sell stocks only so that we no need to calculate by importing total data into our system now here we will do some coding so that we can uh, actually set the query parameter so at the very first i am taking a variable query underscore stock so it will uh, search by stock name if you want to uh, get some specific stock data suppose you want to find out the stock data uh, data for acc what the status of acc then we can find out otherwise we can uh, search for narrow which are narrow for today or which are narrow for tomorrow or the signal so we need four query for four columns if you want so i will take four query for four columns so this is first one for stock either we can search by stock name or some stock data and then we can let me take four lines and we will make according to our requirement next one is a narrow so let me take nr and let me rename it as nr and that then i am taking nrt that is narrow for tomorrow so 
let me take n r t and finally the signal let me take s i g as a signal so here also s i g so these are all four queries for four columns now up to here we are uh, taking the code from the our previous file so i already described how to convert this table how to convert this table into a json url so these are all so here is the code so just go uh, through the my last video you will understand now here we are taking the query so at the very first i am just explaining if the query stock that is the stock name if i am looking for some stock data if the query stock is not equal to null that means if i pass some stock name then you will give the that particular row of that particular stock so it will give the data for that particular stock so let me save this file and let me publish it only for the stock data then we will extend it for the last four columns so deploy as an app i have to change the version each and every time otherwise it won't work so now let me copy this url and let me paste it here or otherwise let me let me paste it here now here i will add some query parameter as we introduce the stock name so here i will take a question mark and stk is equal to let me uh, take acc value so so that we can uh, match with now acc narrow is equal to 1 narrow t is equal to 0 and cell let me check here acc 1 0 cell so so it, this is our required data so it's working for stock name now let me go to our python terminal and let me add here query parameter or, or we have to replace the url first let me copy this and let me replace it by some variable name url and url equal to now we will set the query as stk is equal to acc now let me save this and we will run the query again now here i am taking only so here i am taking only acc data so this is a lightweight data compared to the previous one so i am uh, i am accessing actually it will give the sorted data according to our stock name now let me do some more complicated now let me add uh, all four uh, query suppose it's for narrow narrow for tomorrow and for signal so for each query i have to check here now suppose the stock name is not given here but instead of stock name you are giving some narrow if it is narrow equal to one that means narrow for today if it is narrow then we will go for uh, trade on that particular stock for today so i or or means this kind of signal query underscore nr equal to sorry not equal to null that means if the narrow i am i am searching by narrow then what will happen then i let me copy this and otherwise i have to write down each and every let me copy it and paste it here so here i have to change according to the column name so here it's narrow so let me copy it and paste it here now a narrow if the value is equal to nr then it will sort that rows as a filter otherwise if you are taking nrt so i have to add it here also let me add all these things and we will test if it is nrt if it is not null then it, it will search for nrt that is narrow for tomorrow or, or signal sig now i will add this for nrt as well as for signal nrt and also for signal and now let me copy the header of the column so that it should be exact otherwise it don't work so 
let me replace it now I will replace it now save it now it is done now let me publish let me choose a new version now update so here is a link let me copy it and let me go to our python terminal and I will replace the URL now let me find out the narrow is equal to 1 that means narrow for today now let me save it and we will try to fetch those kind of stocks who are narrow look at here all the 49 stock now we will search for who those who are in buy mode so signal SIG equal to buy if it is buy then it will show now let me check how many are, are giving you buy signal only one federal bank so let me go and check whether it's correct or not let me check so sell sell only one buy this is a federal bank let me uh, check any other bank are there or not no there is no so only one so it's working properly so we can search by either uh, by narrow there are three parameters here uh, four parameters actually stock name by narrow or narrow for tomorrow or signal we can search by each and every parameter in query parameter also we can set multiple query now let me find out the stock name who are narrow for tomorrow that means if it is narrow for tomorrow that is equal to 1 then we want to look for the that particular stocks then let me go to our javascript now let me copy this url and we will search for nrt is equal to 1 so if it is narrow for tomorrow then it will give you the stock name so first one is axis bank bulk is no industries so let me check here axis bank then bulk is no industries and then camps so i am getting the right data so camps it's perfect so in in uh, python also if we want nrt equal to 1 let me fetch the data for this particular url now look at here axis bank bulk is no industries camps federal bank sun pharma and torrent pharma that is the data federal banks so it is working properly so with multiple query or single query we can uh, search for, for the data for, from a huge data set or if you are, if I have a huge data set but uh, there is no scope in our coding suppose we are uh, trying to make some website or some um, applications if I import a huge number of data set in every 10 second or 5 seconds then it will consume lot of data but we can make it as a lightweight software by using this uh, query parameter technique it not necessary we have to do it with your google sheet api from any api whatever you are generating uh, for your purpose you can set some query parameter or into it so that you will filter the data and you will take a slice of the huge data set so your program will be lightweight it will consume uh, less number of data as well as it will faster than the original one if you are importing a huge data set and then you are doing some mathematical calculation or logical calculation so that you you can extract your desired data from it so you do it in the at the very first moment you just create a param uh, query parameter in for the api and you just uh, take those data whose are required for your project so it will be easier it will be faster it will make faster your project and uh, it's a very efficient way to think uh, for coding so thanks thanks for watching my video if you like my video please subscribe my channel and please be with me thank you thanks for watching me